Hi! Welcome back to my channel! So, for today, we're going to talk about uh, something that would be the key to your success. And that is, paano makapag-aral sa college kahit walang pera? Yes, you heard it right. Paano po kung wala akong pera, makakapag-aral pa po ba ako? Sagot dyan, biggest. Okay, kasi ako mismo, nakapag-aral ako nang wala kaming pera talaga. Not literal na walang pera, pero kakaunti ang pera. So, uh, I want to emphasize that hindi reason ng kahirapan para tumigil ka sa pag-aaral. Kung gusto mo talaga, nandyan ka na, umabot ka na sa college level. Kung gusto mo mag-aaral, ipush mo ang sarili mo, magagawa mo yan. Saan ka nang gagaling? Saan ako nang gagaling? Napagdaanan ko yan. There was even a time, may I remember back then, wala akong baon nang pumapasok ako. But then, I survived, okay? There were specific periods na wala, wala talaga kaming pera at wala akong pambaon. But, na nagpasan ko yun. And I managed uh, to graduate, okay? And from LM to college, and even MA, binuhay ako ng scholarship. So, I think um, itong, itong concept ng vlog na to, I could, I, I, na itong vlog na to, I mean, I could really tell you the details of how to go about it and give you tips on how to study even if you don't, you do not have that much money, okay? So, paano ka makakapag-aral kahit wala kang pera sa college? Ito yung mga tips. Number one, ang umbrella term natin is scholarship. So, napakadaming scholarships. Ikaw nang bahalang uh, maghanap sa mga yan, pero I'm telling you, ang dami. Tandaan mo, kung gusto mo talaga mag-aral, hindi ka mahihiyang magtanong, hindi ka mahihiyang mag-process ng papers, hindi ka mahihiyang mag-apply. Kasi gusto mong mag-aral. Dahil ang pag-aaral mo ay uh, dyan nakasalalay ang future mo. Okay? Pwede ka maging bis uh, business person. Okay, okay yon Okay din yon Pero then again, uh, in our culture, in our country, sa, uh, sa society din natin, malaki ang advantage kung nakagraduate ka. So, ano yung mga scholarships na pwede mong salihan? Okay, first, or apply yan. I mean, you have CHED scholarships. And uh, CHED offers scholarships especially to uh, you have uh, SUCs or state universities and colleges. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yung mga naging estudyante ko years back, meron sa kanila ang nakapag-avail ng shed scholarship. And, it really helped them. Okay? And, malaki-laki din yun. Kumbaga, makukover yung question para sa pag para dun sa duration ng pag-aaral nila. So, you might want to check on the website of CHED. So, look into the requirements and also inquire sa school. Pero alam ko, marami sa mga state universities and colleges ang nag-offer na na, uh, ang covered ng CHED. Okay? So, ano yung SUC or state universities and colleges? These are the universities and colleges that are um, parang version ng public school. They are under the government. Okay? So, uh, they, are, they are funded by the government. So, next is the DOST scholarship. So, bakit ko hiniwalay? This one is a different type of scholarship if you are the student who want to pursue a medical science or math or engineering field, ito yung para sa'yo. Because they have their priority courses. Kung bag hindi lahat um, kinikater nila. You may look it up in their uh, in their Facebook page or in their website. Nandun nakapost pero napakaganda din ng uh, ino-offer nila for their uh, scholars. Okay? So, imagine um, you would have your allowance, you would also have your monthly allowance, book allowance, at madami pang iba. Pero, hindi mo basta-basta makukuha yan from DOST, not unless pumasa ka at mapili ka sa uh, after ng screening kasi meron silang exam. Okay? For this year, I guess it's August. Okay? Hindi ko lang alam dun sa mga kasunod or next year. But for this school year, August siya. Okay, or for the for this year it's August. So malaking malaking chance 'yon lalo do sa mga gustong pumasok sa mga medical or health related field and engineering courses. This is your chance, okay? Next is you have the government as in local government scholarships. Namimigay po ng mga scholarships ang mayor, ang mga uh, ang mga congressman, congressmen, congresswomen. Uh, ang mga governors, ang mga senators, okay? Kumbaga, ikaw, ikaw lang ang kailangan lumapit at maghanap kung kanino ka pwedeng magpatulong. Di ba, sino bang mag-aaral? Siyempre, ikaw. 
makakarinig ka sa mga usually you would hear your neighbors or family friends or mga ibang ka-school na pinag-uusapan ng mga ganitong classing scholarships. And once na nalaman mo, please do ask. And even if you do, if you wouldn't hear anything from people, pumunta ka ng munisipyo, pumunta ka ng capital, pumunta ka sa mga offices ng mga specific na politicians, and ask uh, ask if they're offering scholarships. Okay? And who knows? Okay? You might be one of them na mag-grant ng office nila ng scholarship. And at the end of the day, you you could be, you would have to be thankful for, uh, thankful for their help but you should be more thankful dun sa mga taong bayad kasi ang um, binibigyan ng scholarship sa iyo is from the taxes of the people okay kasi madami nagsasabi oy um pinag-aral ka ni ganito so dapat loyalist ka niya no not necessarily be a loyalist to that person if that person is really doing right but if not hindi ko lang obligasyon para suportahan siya again ang nagpaaral sa iyo hindi yung taong yon kundi yung pera ng mga tao. Pero then again, still be thankful to them kasi pinili ka nila kung sakali man. Next is, you have the school school scholarships. So, merong academic scholarship, uh, meron ding uh, scholarship na binibigay mo, mismo ng isang research group dun sa school, pwede rin, at may mga benefactors. Meron din sa varsity, sa sa mga dancers, performing arts, at saka sa mga student writers. So, isa-isahin natin. Academics. Sa academics, pwedeng nag-graduate ka ng valedictorian or salutatorian ng class nyo. Pero, kadalasan, ito nagagamit lang for entrance um, entrance fee. Pero, although may iba yata na all throughout, pero, ang mga alam ko, entrance fees lang. Then, for the academic, Uh, kapag nakapag-apply ka dito, kailangan mo mag-maintain ng grades. Iba-iba ang requirement per school, pero batay sa experience ko noon, nung sa akin, dapat to lang bababa sa dos. Dos, dos pataas lang. So, that's around, I'm, I'm not sure if it's 85 to 88. So, parang nandun dapat ang pinakamababang grade mo. Walang bababa doon. Kasi once na may bumaba doon, automatic, by the next SEM, wala ka na sa scholarship. Wala ka ng scholarship. Okay? Next is, Um, you also have the upper 1% of the of the batch you get to have you get to enjoy the scholarship noon kapag napasama ka sa list dense list or president's list at kasama ka sa mga pinakamataas na uh, may mataas na uh, may merong mataas na QPA okay so advantage din yung kaso nandoon yung pressure okay so paano ma'am ko ayo ko ng pressure paano si hindi ko ayo ko ng pressure hindi ko kaya pero din mga ibang options para sa iyo. You could have or uh, what I've mentioned a while back is what you could have is um the working student, okay, or the student assistant. Meron pa ring minamaintain na grade to pero uh, hindi siya ganoon kasi taas nung sa academic scholarships. Um these students may work in libraries, they may work in computer labs, classrooms, cleaning the classrooms, etc. and different offices. And actually, this is an advantage kasi uh, may iba sa mga student assistant na kagraduate nila since they already know the job and if their course is related to the job that they did, they can get absorbed. Okay? Or if not, at least they establish connections already and they know how how things work in the university. So, malaking tulong. I've got lots of friends din na nakatapos sa pagiging student assistant and there is nothing wrong about that. Okay? Imagine if you're a, an essay sa library, that, that's an honor. And ang sayo siguro na napapalibutan ka ng libro, okay? But then again, everything requires sacrifices. So, ibig sabihin, after mo mag or before ka mag kailangan mong mag-duty muna, okay? Next is, uh, I've mentioned about performing arts. There are schools that offer scholarships to dancers or singers or members ng choral. So, pwede rin yung kung talent ka sa pag awit or pagsayaw, go! And of course, hindi mawawala ba naman ang scholarship para sa mga magagaling sa sports. Ito yung mga varsity talaga na nilalaban ng school sa ibang mga competitions, sa mga inter-school competitions. So, yun, sa schools pa lang naman yun, okay? Nabanggit na natin yun sa, yun sa scholarships sa CHED, sa mga sa government, sa DOST, sa school. Pero din tayo sa mga private institutions. Merong mga malls, hindi ko na lang sasabihin kung anong mall. May mga malls at saka 
specific na banks na nag-grant ng scholarship sa mga bata. So, I- I'm not sure if you have seen or encountered once in your life yung mga cans, parang uh, cans na hinuhulugan ng coins, tas may nakadikit na mga pictures ng graduates nila. They're asking for donation dun sa mga malapit dun sa cashier. Uh, they also sponsor, okay? They also give a scholarships to deserving students, okay? So, pwede rin nating i- i-explore. Yan kung dun sa talong big, um, bra- dun sa three bi- big words na binanggit ko, ayaw mong i-explore yan. Pwede rin tayo dun sa mga private uh, institutions, okay? So, uh, given this, okay, paano, paano talaga kung wala, wala akong mahanap, wala, walang, walang nag-qualify? Hindi ako qualified sa kahit anong uh, scholarship na binanggit mo. Pwede kang mag- working student. Ito yung working student na hindi sa loob ng classroom, hindi sa loob ng school, kundi sa labas. That means, you have to have a part-time job. Again, hindi pwede, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin hadlang sa pag-aaral mo ang kawalan ng pera. Meron ako naging estudyante noon, he works full-time. Tapos, nag-aaral siya afterwards. Uh, there, there were times na talagang sobrang antok niya, pero he, he tries to uh, listen to the discussion, and guess what? He he graduated. At hindi lang siya isa, napakarami nila. And they managed to graduate. Now, they are in better positions. They are employed, uh, they are, they have their own families, and definitely, they could feed those families already. Okay? So, anong ibig ko sabihin? Okay, sige, you could work um, in various fast food chains, restaurants, um, in companies that, that could absorb you, okay? Tiisin mo muna kung medyo uh, mahirap i-balance ang work at saka ang pag-aaral. Call centers, they could also do that. Well, being a call center agent, you could study. Pero yun lang, kalaban mo talaga is yung puyat, kalaban mo is yung pagod na hindi mo may iwasan minsan. Ma- aantokin ka, pero kumbaga, ano ba naman ang laban ng antok sa uh, sa drive mo para makatapos ng pag-aaral? Okay? And, paano talaga kung wala Okay, ito na, pinaka mahirap din. Maghanap ka ng taong pwedeng tumunong sa'yo. Like, siguro ka mag-anak na mayaman or kapatid na nag-work na. So, you could at least ask. Okay? Pero, syempre, be ready kung matuturn down ka kasi hindi biro yung hinihingi mo. <clears throat> Ako, di ko ginawa yun. Never kong try. Pero, then again, kung wala ka na talagang option, magtanong ka. You, you could do something in, in exchange like, to do them some uh, favors, like, uh, help them cleaning the house or assisting them with their kids kung papayagan ka. But then again, kung hindi i-grant yung request mo kasi malaking bagay ang hinihingi mo, huwag kang magdamdam kasi malaking bagay yan. Okay? Hindi, kahit, at saka hindi porket mayaman siya pagbibigyan ka kasi at the end of the day, hindi mo siya masisisi. Pera niya yun eh. It's his decision. He or, it's his or her decision to, to choose how he or she would spend his or her money. Did you get that? Okay? So, ang dami kong hinapag sa'yo. Ang dami kong sinabi. Ay, meron pa palang isa. Yung sa pageant. Okay? Yung iba, uh, merong ibang schools na nagpapapageant sila. Pero kapag nakapasok ka na sa school na yun, yung price nila is scholarship. Pwede rin yun. Okay? Sko, ang dami. Ang dami. Ang daming ways para makapag-aral. So, let me just remind you that difficulties in life, financial difficulties should not be hindrances for you to become successful in life. Lagi kong sinasabi to, kahit sa mga estudyante ko. Kung gusto mong mag-aral, gawin mo. Okay? Don't settle for short-term uh, short-term answers or short-term solutions. Go for long-term solutions. Just like what? Finishing your studies. Okay? Okay? Nakuha natin. I hope you've learned from this uh, from this video. And if you did, press like. And then, subscribe. Okay? Then, pass it to someone else who you think needs this video. At the end of the day, if we're gonna help each other, sino ba naman hindi masaya na makita ang isa't isang nagiging professional at nagiging, nag-grow. Okay? So, with that, bye-bye! Sana natutunan nyo, nakat, na, 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 na,